Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about flying squirrel a flying squirrel has the power to glide 300 feet through the air. Despite its name, a flying squirrel doesn't fly the same way a bird or a bat flies. Instead, flying squirrels are animals that glide or drift through the air. These omnivores eat insects, mushrooms, flowers, and, of course, nuts. Flying squirrels are nocturnal animals and search for food at night. They can change direction by 180 degrees when gliding through the air. Incredible flying squirrel facts. These squirrels can gather and store up to 15,000 nuts in one season. The 50 plus types of flying squirrels are in a group known to scientists as Teramiini. The extremely large eyes of these small rodents allow light to pour in so they can see at night. These squirrels live in Europe, Asia, North America, Mexico, and Central America. The official conservation status of these squirrels is least concern. Flying squirrel scientific name The scientific name for a flying squirrel is Teramiini. Terra is a Greek word meaning wing and Myini means small. It belongs to the Sciuridae family and the Mammalia class. The southern flying squirrel, the northern flying squirrel, Humboldt's flying squirrel, and the Japanese dwarf flying squirrel are just four of the over 50 species of this animal in the Teramiini tribe. Flying squirrel appearance and behavior These squirrels have a light coat of brown fur on their back and white fur on their stomach. Some types of squirrels have small differences in fur color. For instance, the southern flying squirrel has all white fur on its stomach while a northern flying squirrel has belly fur that's white at the tip and darker near the skin. The most notable feature of all of these squirrels is a pair of large, dark eyes. Their eyes let a lot of light in which helps these animals to see their surroundings as they hunt at night. These squirrels have a flat tail, four small feet, and long whiskers. Their whiskers help them to avoid running into objects while hunting at night. Like their cousin, the ground squirrel, they have sharp teeth they use to cut into black walnuts and other types of nuts. Adult squirrels have a body measuring 9 to 14 inches long with a tail of about 4 inches. They weigh from 2 to 8 ounces. For reference, a 14-inch long squirrel is almost as long as a bowling pin. Furthermore, a squirrel that weighs 8 ounces is as big as an adult hamster. The largest species is the red and white giant flying squirrel. It has a 23-inch long body with a tail measuring about 24 inches. Also, this squirrel weighs around 10 pounds. Alternatively, the Japanese dwarf flying squirrel is one of the smallest types of these squirrels. It grows to be just 7 inches long including its tail and weighs around 5 ounces. These squirrels have a membrane or fold of skin called a patagium. This membrane spreads out on both sides of the squirrel's body allowing it to glide between tree branches. If you look up at a flying squirrel moving from tree to tree, the membrane takes the shape of a square. Though these squirrels can glide a distance of 300 feet, the average gliding distance is 65 feet. To get a better mental picture, when a flying squirrel glides 300 feet, it is traveling about as far as the Statue of Liberty is tall, not including the base it is on. A squirrel that glides 65 feet is traveling a distance equal to the length of three adult giraffes. These squirrels spend most of their time in trees as a way to stay safe from predators. When they do walk on the ground level, they are clumsy and will hide from a predator as opposed to trying to run away. Flying squirrel population When it comes to population, some types of flying squirrels are categorized as decreasing, stable or their population trends are unknown. For instance, the Sipora flying squirrel in Indonesia is decreasing while the population of the Indochinese flying squirrel in China is stable. Sometimes scientists have challenges gathering the data they need to determine the population of a particular species of flying squirrel because some types of flying squirrels live in forests and wooded areas that are hard for humans to get to. Also, a group of flying squirrels may remain hidden making it difficult for scientists to get an accurate count. One example is the red-cheeked flying squirrel. There's not enough data to determine its population.